Welcome to Flipping PCs Until I Can Afford College. This is episode 7 of the series, and the point is, well, to save up for college. So yeah, I'm probably never finishing this series because of how expensive college is. But in the meantime, let's see how much money we can make flipping these computers. But yeah, with this out of the way, let's get on to building this gaming PC. To start off this build, I got yet another Dell Optiplex. I know I get these a lot, but for the value they offer, they're really hard to beat. I got this PC for $69, nice. This PC came with an i5-3470, 4GB of RAM, 1TB hard drive, and everything else. Speaking of which, for this build, the CPU is an i5-3470. It's an old one for sure, but it's honestly not bad for gaming. It just feels slow for everything else and quickly shoots up to 100% utilization when opening something. It has 4 cores and 4 threads, with a base clock of 3.2 GHz and a boost clock of 3.6 GHz, and a 22 nanometer architecture. So yeah, the CPU is starting to show its age, but it will get the job done. For RAM, we got a kit of 2x8GB of DDR3 RAM. It's pretty slow, and it has an ugly green PCB. But at least, it's 16GB of RAM on dual channel. I got it off of Newegg for $24, which I think is pretty good and a good amount of memory for gaming. For the GPU, I got yet another RX 460 2GB. This time around, I got an MSI model because the cheaper and uglier looking HP RX 460s are sold out, so I'm gonna have to look for other cards. I got it for $67, and while it's not a very good price, it's not the worst one either. It's not a bad card, to be honest, as it can still play many games at low settings in 1080p. It also doesn't require an external power, which I think is a plus. For storage, I got a 120GB Natac SSD from eBay. It cost me $12, and I like these Natac SSDs because they are affordable but offer good quality at the same time. I paired it with a 500GB hard drive from, from another Dell Optiplex. I took out the 1TB hard drive to use for another build. 500GB is still a decent amount of storage, so I think it's okay. With all this out of the way, let's get on to the building montage. Now that the PC is actually built, let's see if it actually works. The only game I tried was Fortnite because GTA 5 was not launching for some reason. Fortnite ran surprisingly well, almost always staying over 60 FPS, which is definitely a good mark. Despite the good performance, I couldn't keep up with the purple Skull Trooper and got blasted away from the game. This is the finished build. It cost me $172 to build this. This is including tax and shipping from eBay and Newegg. While this PC doesn't have any RGB goodness, it's still going to perform well in games, at least in 1080p and 720p. I plan to sell it for $220 so that it sells quickly and we can continue this series. Thank you guys for the amazing support that this series is getting. Seriously, I appreciate all of you. Let's make this 2023 a good year and hopefully we will have enough money to go to college by the end of this year. But yeah, with that out of the way, see ya.